So this is going to be my subject for today and I hope you will enjoy to see first how I'm going to create in the drawing to understand the composition and the same times nurturing the relationship that I'm looking forward to creating by observation of this uh, beautiful gardenia from my yard. Bella! Vieni qua! Vieni qua, Zola! Zorina! Come here! Oh! just want to have everything be first really intuitive so my eyes is looking the whole image and I'm taking advantage of the rational way to see and observing and making decision and by in doing so I start to discover within the space the potential of this shape becoming alive slowly in a flat surface of the leaves they really create a sense of dance that gives me the opportunity to not only be uh, maybe correct yeah, as proportion wise but at the same time to discover a little bit the enigma from life See, the drawing looks really kind of a little messy platform for many different reasons not only because I want to understand what I'm looking at but also I want to have a surface where I can start by the movement of the hand I can start to understanding by the shape of the leaves the direction 
they create a sense of pair or sense of movement. When I really want to have the liberty to do these quick, uh, fast strokes. So as you can see now, I'm starting to develop a little bit better shape. Finally, now I can start to see a little bit more the detail of the individual flowers. And uh, after I will complete this with a little bit more tweaking, a little bit more the shadows, the lights, I will feel then satisfied with my composition, with my drawing. So I will transfer this drawing on a canvas, which I will show you how I will do that, which uh, perhaps is a, a method that I start to use for myself, suggested by studying the uh, technique of fresco painting in, in Italy. And I think it might be interesting for you to see this method that I use. It's really easy, it's really practical, and personally it's really fun, I think, to do it. So I will look forward to show you the next stage. I prepare a piece of canvas the same side as my drawing that I have it right here. I would like to use a burnt sienna. And uh, after we smear the colors in the canvas, I'm going to show you how I use this personalized method. So let me show you a little bit closer. So as you can see, it's really oily. It doesn't need to have a lot of pigment. You want to just stain the canvas. So the canvas, instead to be white, it will start to have this little transparent color. And now that it's wet with the oil, I'm just going to scoop a little bit of burnt sienna, so the pigment, and spread and make the canvas a little bit more darker in tones. So the tonality of the canvas will start to change. So when I scratch off the lines that I need while I'm tracing the drawing, it will give a sense of relief. So it will really create a print directly on top of the canvas. So now I'm just taking this burnt sienna and you will see the colors is going to be uh, much darker. You see how much darker? So I'm just going to go over this wet surface and uh, making the old canvas a little bit more darker. That's pretty good, almost done. Now that I cover the old canvas with the burnt sienna, I'm going to take my drawing. So that's my original drawing, it's right here. And I'm going to apply the drawing that fit exactly the size of the canvas on top with two little clips. So you see the canvas and the drawing on top. Okay, now then I apply the drawing on top of the wet canvas. We can use either a pencil or a pen and uh, start to mark all the edge that I see in my drawing. If I lift my paper now, you can see the appearance of my drawing slowly. So I will continue with this, and then as soon as I finish my trace, I'll show you how to complete the underpainting. I'm almost 
finish to trace all my drawing and uh, now I'm about to reveal the result of this tracing directly on a wet canvas. So let me show you. So if I lift the paper, now you can see the drawing is on the canvas. It's really a nice method to transfer the drawing. Now we can recreate the same value uh, before the canvas is totally dry. We create the same value by introducing a little bit ultramarine blue mixed with burnt sienna. Simply taking advantage of this surface, they still wet. So let me show you how I like to continue before let the underpainting dry and uh, mixing burnt sienna with ultramarine blue. Okay. So as you can see, take a little bit ultramarine blue with a little bit burnt sienna and really create a little dark. And then with the dark I can just apply some So automatically applying a little bit the second tone with the ultramarine blue, you should be able to start to give to the canvas a different appearance. Start to move in away from the flat uh, idea of the drawing. So as you can see, I'm trying to dark the leaves and uh, so they will give us separation, I separate the three flowers from the greens, simply making it a little bit darker. And that's a beautiful exercise, a beautiful way to start to become a little bit more acquaintance with uh, different tones. And then for the light part instead, I'm going to use a little piece of napkin. And instead of apply the white pigment, I'm going to wipe it off a little bit, some of the burnt sienna, because it's still wet, it's still fresh. So as you can see, this way to create an underpaint is a little bit more, uh, much more simplified. So instead to apply more pigment, we clean the canvas. Blend a little bit of shadow. That's what the stage where typically I suggest to my student to enjoy a little bit the process of founding this relationship of uh, dark and light without using white. So that's why it makes it much more simplified and easier to handle the pigment. Because you can just apply dark and then uh, smear it on the canvas. And then if you don't like it or something it start to look a little bit too overwhelmed or maybe too, too powerful with tonality, you can just simply wipe it off with a piece of paper, with a piece of napkin. I just creating in a really simplistic way. That's why I call this more a personalized way to create an underpainting. And then with a little bit burnt sienna and a little touch of ultramarine blue, I was able to recreate a little bit an atmosphere 
on the canvas. So some parts are a little bit darker, some parts are a little bit mid-tones, uh, and uh, instead to apply white to create the light tones, so I was able to wipe it off a little bit, the extra oil, so automatically creates a lighter tones. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'm going to let it dry, and I look forward to see the next step, so the step number three. The step number one was to creating the drawing, the composition, and rearrange the space on the paper. The second step is this one, creating an underpaint using this uh, personalized method, which is basically, I take advantage of the wet canvas and I transfer uh, directly the drawing on a wet canvas. And then the third step will be to introduce in the colors. By introducing the colors, I will be able to show you my palette. It will be a limit palette, only with three colors plus white. Uh, okay, so I will continue a little bit to clean my canvas and I will let it dry and then I will come back to do my uh, colors. There are my three colors, uh, cadmium yellow light, ultramarine blue, and alizari crimson. And now by a personal interpretation, I'm going to start to mix the colors. And here, uh, basically that's where I like to be a little bit improvising with the colors. I think it's really important, if it's the first time that you're going to create a painting by using a limit palette, to allow to be more inventive with the colors. And here I am starting my personal interpretation. I hope you will enjoy to see these next few minutes where I mix uh, my colors. In this first stage, I always encourage my beginner students to really be really experimental and more important, to keep colors really thin, really transparent, because they will give you the option, the chance to keep updating with much more opaque pigmentation, and slowly looking for the kind of likeness that you want to create for your own painting.
So as you can see, I'm uh, continuing with this painting. I'm going to put a little bit of details, only mixing three colors. So basically the only colors I've been using is uh, a yellow, a red and a blue mixed with white. I hope you enjoy it. I will continue to work on this one for a little bit longer. And then I look forward to see you uh, in my next video. Ciao.